Hello everyone. Uh, current status. Had a couple of minor setbacks, but uh, probably were a good thing. Um, first off, when I mounted my x-axis motors, I realized that, well actually, it, <laughs> it realized it to me that the uh, shafts were just a tad too long and they were hitting the top of the rack clamps. So, um, what I did basically is I had to disassemble everything and grind back the end of the shaft to add some more clearance. Um, so far everything looks pretty good. The other issue I had was uh, on the spindle mount um, with the brackets and everything that I had it actually clamped down and actually bowed the uh, spindle mount. Give you some uh, test to the ductility of aluminum. So when these bolted down, and you can kind of see on here where I have uh, marks here for where it clamped on the outside, uh, but it didn't touch in the middle. So what happened was basically I, I tried to put my spindle in, and it actually jammed, and I couldn't get it back out again. And you can kind of see, hopefully the light can show you, but the scuff marks on the inside, and they were both on this side. So basically this kind of clamped in and compressed a little bit more. Uh, so I literally had to disassemble everything, take it apart, and uh, used the torch to heat the side up a little bit and then a piece of wood to tap the spindle back out real carefully. But I got that out and my solution to the problem will be is to give it a, a stronger base. So I have this piece of steel here uh, that I was using for alignment purposes and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes to mount uh, some shoulder bolts to hold the plate in place. And then I'm going to drill and tap some holes in the plate to mount this on. So this should give me a solid base that won't collapse this uh, as much. Right now, everything being loose, if I put the uh, expansion bolt in here, spindle slides through nice and easily. I mean, it's snug, but nice and easily. So I'm hoping that'll solve that problem. So I'll get to that uh, as we get to it. One of the things uh, I went ahead and did since I had uh, to do all the disassembly was um, I went ahead and started doing the wires for the end connectors. Uh, basically what I have is, and I've already got my two X's and my Z and I'm working on the Y right now. I've got a four pin uh, cable end connector got them at Radio Shack. You can buy both the uh, males and the females and you get your pins on a little tang, you break them off and then you crimp them onto the end of the wires and then they're press fit into the adapters. And what I've done here is also after I've crimped them I uh, went in and put a little bead of uh, solder in there to make sure they're nice and solid. And one of the things that I did, um, don't have to do this but I felt I might as well is I've gone ahead and twisted the pairs for each of the uh, motor windings. In this particular case, you know, this one is the uh, A plus A minus, and this will be the uh, B plus B minus, just to help, you know, reduce the potential for EMs interferences. And like I said, they just press into there, and then I have some wire wrap, then that I wrap around there. Again, here's the uh, other X axis, makes it real nice. And then uh, when I run my cabling, I'll be able to just plug them in. That'll make it easier for disassembly and maintenance over the long run. So, like I said, uh, these get both twisted, put together. Uh, I put a little bit of uh, uh, electrical tape at the beginning and in the end and in the middle, and then I put the wire wrap on. So far, it seems like it's uh, coming out pretty nice. So that's the status with that. Um, uh, again, I got to get back into uh, finishing this up, get this reassembled. Basically, want to go ahead and get these on anyways, so that when I would get my uh, E-tracks down, um, then I'll be able to actually just uh, pull the wires through, uh, kind of put the connectors on the ends, um, connect them to the motors, and that way I can uh, run the exact amount of wire that I need uh, back to the uh, control mechanisms. So uh, that's the current status and I'll show you more as we get along. Thanks. Thanks for watching.